now we will see spectra of d2 and d8 that is orgel diagram for d2 and d8 for d2 we have to write different types of term symbol which are accordingly 1d 1s 1g 3p and 3f so transition take place from 3f to 3p orbitals fine as we know that 3f state splits into t1g t2g and 3a2g and 3p state splits into 3t1g sorry f uh, so we have to write these different types of uh, <coughs> symbol accordingly okay fine <coughs> here p is for p state and f is for f state okay now this point is known as cross point now transition take place from 3t1 to 3t2 and 3t1g to 3t1g f and similarly 3t1g f to 3a2g f so there are three types of transition there are basically three type of transition which are possible first is from 3t1g to 3a2g and sec this one has lowest energy because from here to here and last one has the highest energy okay so for water for d2 system this cross point is corresponding to water so up to water we will absorb only these two first transition because up to water both 3a2g and 3t1g level has same energy so we will say that these two type of transition both have same energy so they are simply same what in case of a ligand greater than water which has energy of separating greater than water then this 3a to g level goes to higher energy so for this case we have three different transitions okay and in this case that is this one has lowest energy this one has a uh, greater energy and this one has highest energy for example that is if we use ligand like ammonia so in case of ammonia what we are getting we are getting three transition what in case of water what we are getting we are getting only true transition okay this is the orgel diagram for d2 and d2 systems okay this cross point corresponds to water ligand if we have ligand which are placed above the water in the spectrophotochemical series then we will get three lines otherwise what we will get we will get only two line similarly for d8 complexes octahedral complexes like nickel h2o6 3 positive what will happen this level will just reverse opposes 3a to g comes downward then 3 to d then 3 t 1 g like this 3a to g downward 3 to g 3 t 1 g and this 3 t 1 g corresponding to p level has upper energy okay so what we are getting we are getting three type of transition 3a to g f to 3 to g uh, f then 3a to g f to 3 t 1 g f and then 3a to g f to 3 t 3 t 1 g p this is this value should be p this one has highest energy this one has highest energy and this one has lowest energy now we can summarize these type of transition in a simple type of orgel diagram this is transition taking place from 3f to 3p levels okay for 3f there is 3t1g f 3t2g and 3a2g f and this is for 3p 3t1g f this is for d2 octahedral as we already discussed now corresponding to this level draw a line which comes to downward that is 3a2g f and also corresponding to this draw a line which comes to downward that is 3t2g f also corresponding to this draw a line which goes to 3t1g f and this is same so this is the spectra for d2 octahedral and this is the spectra for d8 octahedral this one is the lowest energy transition this one which take place from this to this level have lowest transition and what we will say that this one to this one corresponding to last level which have highest energy okay and one thing we have to remember that d2 octahedral is equals to d10 minus n tetrahedral that is if this is true for d2 octahedral this is true for d8 tetrahedral 
सो वी कैन से दैट डी टू ऑक्टा हैडल एंड डी एट टेट्रा हैडल बोथ हैव द सेम ऑर्गल डायग्राम सिमिलरली डी एट ऑक्टा हैडल डी टू टेट्रा हैडल है बोथ same orgal diagram this point corresponds to cross point up to this point we have only two transition that is 3t1 g2 3t2 g and 3t1 2 3a2 gf because these both have same energy up to this level now similarly if we want to draw orgal diagram for d3 octahedral and d7 octahedral then what we have to do we have to simply replace these 3 by 4f because for d3 octahedral transition take place from 4f to 4p so for d3 what will happen diagram remain same what here level 4 4 4 4 and here also in place of 3 we will get 4 diagram remain identical like this 4 a2gf 4 t1 uh, t2 gf And this is 4 T1 G F, and this is 4 T1 G P. Diagram remains same. What we have to, which we have, what we have to change, we have to change only 3 by 4. Okay. Similarly, for other value, what we have to do, we have to change similarly 3 by 4. So both are changed. But one thing we have to remember that here cross point corresponds to because D7 octahedral have uh, uh, D7 octahedral. consist of cobalt three complexes and for com cobalt three complexes we know that pairing even take place with the ligand like oxalate so the ligand which are placed after the oxalate will cause will correspond to strong field ligand so they will what they will do they will do a large splitting so even with oxalate we will get three line 41 to 42 gf 41 gf to 41 gp and 41 gf to 4 a2 gf so cross point in case of d7 octahedral complex exist for oxalate so even for water oxalate ammonia for all we will get three lines similarly this is d3 tetrahedral d7 octahedral have identical orgal diagram and they will have also identical orgal diagram just some of the examples for the electronic transition of some chromium 3 complex are given the, here as the as we are moving from weak field ligand to strong field ligand the value of transition will also increases as shown in the diagram 